Dre All Day. All Day. Dre All Day. This video, I want to give four simple tips to all the up and coming players. This is especially for the high school and college age players who are coming up in sports right now and you want to make it in your sport, especially if you're in high school right now. This is something that just came to me this morning. I was just thinking back to when I was your age in high school, playing in my neighborhood, you know, trying to play for my school and stuff like that. And what I've learned over the last you know, 20 years or so playing sports and now that I don't play sports anymore, now I'm a full-time entrepreneur. Some things that I would tell a young athlete nowadays. What I'm about to tell you all, I'm actually going to do a whole podcast episode on these exact points, but I want to give them to you here in this video. And this is something that if I was any high school coaches out there or neighborhood coaches, if you brought me to your gym or your field or your locker room and asked me to speak to your players, what I'm about to tell you all here in this video is a good framework of what I would tell the players right now if I was talking to a bunch of players. So four things I'm gonna tell you real quick. First of all, I got a daily motivation text message that I send out every day to everybody's phone. If you wanna get my daily motivation text, just text me at the number you see down below in the description. The number is 305-384-6894. Text me at that number, you get my daily motivation every day. So anyway, here's the points. Number one, listen to your coaches. It's the number one thing that I'll tell you is listen to your coaches and let me explain what I mean. Your coaches, everything that they're telling you now, that sometimes you're hearing them, sometimes you're not, sometimes you like what you hear, sometimes you don't, sometimes you're paying attention, sometimes you're not paying attention, sometimes you're feeling it, sometimes you're not, sometimes you think the coach is hating on you, or you think the coach is playing favorites, or the coach is trying to hold you down, or you think the coach is just dumb, they're not you know, playing the right players, they're not putting you in the right situation to be successful. Understand something. When you get, let's say 20 years from now, you're not playing sports anymore, you're gonna look back on what your coaches told you, you're gonna realize, damn, they were right. The things they were telling me were actually useful to me. They were actually trying to help me, but maybe you just didn't hear it the right way because I, where you were mentally at that point, maybe the way that they said it, you weren't really open to the way they were communicating with you, and I 100% understand this. Let me tell you how I can help you out with that. If your coach is saying something to you that you're not quite feeling right now, but you just heard me say, listen to your coach because they're trying to help you, I want you to take what your coach said to you verbatim, and I want you to tell me what they said. You can text me at 305-384-6894 or leave it in the comments and make sure you say it exactly how what they said not how they said but what they said and then i will translate for you what the coach actually means because i had some coaches who i liked i had coaches i didn't like coaches who i butted heads with and clashed with for usually for stuff that i was doing or not doing the right way or doing the wrong way and that's why i clashed with those coaches and in the moment or during that season i wasn't really feeling that coach but Later on, when I could look back at what the coach was saying, and I was more mature, and I could look at what I was doing that led to the coach saying what they were saying, I realized, all right, the coach was actually right. I just didn't know what I didn't know when I was 19 or when I was 16 that I know now, if I'm 32 or 45 or as my actual age, 39, I can look back and say, okay, I get what that coach meant. I get what this coach was trying to say. Maybe they didn't say it quite the right way. Maybe they weren't very articulate. Maybe they weren't good with choosing their words. Maybe they talked to you in a way that you weren't used to being spoken to before because you hadn't had somebody speak to you like that before. But in the long run, you will look back and realize, all right, the coach was actually right. I will help you out. So if your coach, you're not feeling what they're saying or how they're saying it, you tell me what they said. I will tell you what the coach is saying because you know that I don't have a reason to hate on you. I don't even know you. I'll translate for the coach so you'll know that they're not lying to you or hating on you or trying to hold you down. So number one, listen to your coaches. They are actually trying to help you. They might not be good at it, but they're trying. Number two, for you high school players, you want to make the most of your game. This is especially for those of you who are from the inner city. You come from the hood. You come from an environment that may not be you know, perfectly positive. You don't have great role models around you. Go away to school. Get out of your city. Get out of your hood. If you can, get out of your state. Go somewhere different and experience a completely different environment. Why do I suggest that you do this? Because number one, this is one of the most important things that happened for me, is getting away from where I was from. I am from the city of Philadelphia, PA. I went to school at Penn State Altoona, which is 30 minutes from State College, the main campus. It's like three hours from Philly. So I didn't get out of the state. I was originally actually going to go to Morehouse College, which is down in Atlanta. But being an out-of-state student, I had a 50% scholarship to go to Morehouse. But out-of-state Morehouse is like 50 grand a year. So the other half would have been like 25 grand. That wasn't happening. So I went to in-state, Penn State Altoona. But being three hours away from Philly, was a far enough distance that 
a few things happened. Number one, I got to experience a different environment that I otherwise never would have experienced where I was from. Number two, I got to meet a whole bunch of people who are from completely different places that again, had I stayed in my city where I was from, I never would have met those people, I never would have had those experiences. And number three, this is the most important part, that goes with number one and number two, I got to create my own and figure out my own identity as a person. That it would have been hard for me to figure that out had I stayed where I was from because I would have been around so many people who knew me since I was a young boy. They would have seen me a certain way and when you got so many people around you who see you a certain way, it's hard for you to see yourself how you want to see yourself because you may find yourself being influenced into kind of conforming and fitting into that box that everybody else has you in. So when you go to a different environment with people who never met you before, they don't know you from anywhere, they don't have any expectation of you, you can be who you want to be and you can forge your own identity and you can figure out you know, who you really are as a person which might be a completely different individual from what everybody who grew up with you thinks of you even your own family members. So this is why going away to college and going to a different environment is actually a good thing on top of the fact that you're an athlete. So I'm making this video for the athletes. So you're, you're an athlete, you're gonna be, you wanna go play in school because playing in school is how you get good enough to get seen by and hopefully get your opportunity to play pro depending on what sports you're playing. So you wanna go play in school so you can keep developing your game and get seen and you can go there and you can develop your own identity, figure out who you are as a person, meet these different people, get these different experiences, see these different places in life. All of these benefits come from getting away. So if you're from, like for example, I'm from Philly, and I go into a school like, let's say Temple. Like I went to high school in North Philadelphia. I went to Engineering and Science High School in North Philly. And a lot of my classmates from my high school went to Temple, because I, I would see them, not see them, but let's say over the next like four years, I'm in college, and they would be, I would notice them because they might be on like Facebook or whatever websites we were on at that time. I might even see them. I might be in Philly. I might run into somebody from my high school. I haven't seen anybody in a while now, but back then. And a lot of them went to Temple. Like half the people I graduated with from high school went to, went to college two blocks away from where we went to high school. They didn't go anywhere. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. If you are from New York and you go to St. John's, I'm not saying you're wrong. You're from LA, you go to UCLA or USC. I'm not saying you're bad. You're from Miami, you go to UM. It's not doesn't mean you do anything wrong. But for me personally, it one of the benefits of going away to a place where I remember I walked on a campus at Altoona. I didn't know anybody. Nobody knew me. I did not know anybody. Every single person I met was brand new. But it was a great experience for me because I got to experience being in that foreign environment where I had to kind of make friends. I had to talk to people. I had to use my communication skills. I had to talk to girls who they didn't know me from anywhere and I didn't know them. I had to make those conversations. I had to talk to males to make friends and all that stuff. By the time I graduated, I knew everybody on the campus. But I needed that experience to go away so that I could figure out who I was as a person. And I think for a lot of you, especially as athletes, a lot of people may have heavy expectations on you where you're from or just a certain vision of who you are as a person. It might not even be who you actually are, but you will never know that if you never get away from them. So go away to college. So leverage your athletic ability, go away to college, get that experience as a person and you get the sport experience at the same time all in you know you kill two birds with one stone metaphorically speaking so that's number two go away if you can to a school that's away from where you're from number three as an athlete number one thing that you can do to develop your game moving forward of course you're working on your game but the number one thing you do is you must be playing with and against players who are good enough to destroy you and bust your ass every single day those are players you need to be playing with and against every day now, when I was in college, I played at the Division Three level, and I wrote about this in my book, Working Your Game, and in my book, The Third Day, that the challenge of being at that level was that a lot of the players there were not very good. They were not very talented, which meant I could kind of give 70% effort and still be better than them. It was a few players, a handful of guys who were good enough that if I didn't play hard, they would bust my ass, but it wasn't enough for them. I want, and What I'm telling you to do is you want to go play somewhere where everybody on the team could bust your ass if you don't play hard. Why? because you want to be playing with players who are at your level and above your level because that will force you to raise your level in order to keep up with them. That's the level that you want to be playing ball at. I had two experiences in ball that showed me this. Number one, when I was a senior in high school, I played on this, in this league called the Sunny Hill League. It's like the best amateur league in the city of Philadelphia. So anybody who's from Philly or South Jersey or South Pennsylvania, Southeastern Pennsylvania played in the Sunny Hill. So Kobe Bryant, Rip Hamilton, Wilt Chamberlain back in the day, uh, Dewan Wagner, Eddie Griffin. This team that I was on in my senior year, Eddie Griffin was number one player in the nation. And he ended up playing in the league. Two years later, he was in the league. 
and Eddie Griffin was on the team. It was like 25 guys, so they had to split up into two teams. And the teams were so talented, that's why they had two teams. And I barely got in the games when I was on those teams. But the benefit of being on those teams was the practices. And even at the games. Like I, I was sitting on the bench with the best players in the city of Philadelphia. After I sat on the bench on my high school team, it wasn't even that good. But I'm playing with the best players in the city, and I'm practicing with them. And I would actually do stuff in practice. So this gave me some confidence, like, yo, I can actually play. These are the best players in the city, and I'm actually holding my own. So being around those guys gave me a lot of confidence heading into college, even though I didn't even get any playing time. And then when I was a pro during the NBA lockout 10 years ago, I was playing pickup with a bunch of dudes who played in the NBA. This is at the University of Miami, right down here in South Florida. And playing with those guys for a week, it just showed me their instincts and their just the way that they saw the game. They just saw the game faster than I did, and I had to catch up. Over the course of the week, I had to catch up. I got my ass bust a couple times early in the week. By the middle of the week, I was playing a lot better because I had to catch up to the speed of their game. And that's because I was playing with people who were better than me. That wasn't so overwhelmed that I couldn't keep on, keep up, but I had to raise my level a little bit. So I was like right here, they were like right here. So I had to raise my game to get here. Now, if they're here and you're all the way down here, then you might not be able to raise your game to that level. But if you're close enough, you can bring your game up and catch up with those players. So you want to play with players who are better than you consistently because that's the way you get better. And any player who makes it pro, a lot of them will tell you the stories of when they were young, they were playing against players who were older than them. They were 12. They playing against the 16-year-olds. They 16 playing against the grown men. Why? Because it forces you to raise your game up to, your, to their level because they're better than you. So that's the third thing. Play with players who are better than you. And number four, especially because you all are athletes and you're in school, and this is especially for the men, and especially those of you who play football and basketball, because we know this happens. Take your ass to class. Go to school. Get the grades so that you can play your sport and you can hopefully get your shot to play pro and make money and take care of yourself and take care of your family. Go to class. Now, I'm not the first person to tell you to go to class. I'm not the first person to take you, tell you to take school seriously. But let me go a little bit deeper into this and explain to you why you want to do this. A couple of reasons. Number one, you already understand the hustle, right? I'm not the first person to tell you the hustle is even if you hate school, even if you don't like school, even if you're not feeling the classes that you're in, you understand logically that you have to go to class and you got to get certain grades so that you can be eligible and you can play your sport and playing your sport is your golden ticket to possibly playing pro making money and living happily ever after so you already understand this logically but you still have a problem with going to class i get it maybe it's because you're not very successful in class because you probably don't study that much or maybe you think you just don't pick up on things as fast as everybody else maybe that's true so you don't want to go to class you don't want to put yourself in that losing situation but let me give you a couple tips here that can help you out first of all as a student athlete on a college campus everybody knows who you are they know you if you're on the football team they know you if you're on the basketball team maybe you play on another team they might not know you but the football team and the basketball teams on any college campus everybody knows them because everybody knows that the potential you have of going to that next level and everybody knows about that because of the money so here's the thing your professors will be willing to help you as long as you put some effort for it if you show up if you're in class every day your professor will respect you and they'll be willing to help you out. Now, don't come to class once a week out of three days and then go to professor's office hours and ask for help. Now, your professor's looking at you sideways. They're like, yo, you don't need to be coming to class. Now that you're about to be ineligible, now you're showing up. Listen, your professors are humans just like you are. So don't play them for fools because then they're going to play you for a fool. And then you're going to be the one not playing during the season. So show up to class even if you don't understand what's going on. Try to understand what's going on. Let me tell you another thing that can help you out. This is especially for the young men because I haven't seen too many instances of female athletes becoming ineligible because they weren't doing their school. It's always the males. And I don't think it's because females are just that much smarter than men. I think a lot of you male athletes just don't, don't show up. And listen, I play college sports, so I can say this. I have the license to say this because I've seen the football players and the basketball players not going to class, not doing their schoolwork, failing and not being eligible, and then they can't play their sport and blow their whole professional opportunity because of a lack of discipline. So let me give you another another thing that will help y'all out, help y'all out, y'all athletes. And here's another way you can kill two birds with one stone. In your classes, okay, in the classes that you go to, I'm assuming you go to a co-ed university, meaning there are males and females there. In your classes, there are females in that room who, number one, are good at the subject that you're struggling at. Number two, are physically attractive to you. And number three, they would love to make a study friend out of a football or a basketball player. So all you need to do, first of all, go to fucking class so that they can see you, so that they, they get comfortable with you. I'll tell you another thing. People get comfortable with you when they see you every day, even if they don't know you, even if they don't talk to you. Like, I live here in Miami, 
and I go outside, I'm outside, I take walks outside, sometimes I go sit at the coffee shops or my laptop and work and things like that. And after a while, people who don't, I do not even know these people, people will walk by me and say hi to me, they'll stop and talk to me, they'll ask me who I am, why? Not because they see me on TV, but because they see me all the time. And I get people saying this to me all the time, like, yo, I see you every day, I don't even know you, but I see you every day, so now I feel like I gotta say hi to you. That happens to me all the time, why? Because people get comfortable with you when they see you often. So you athletes, Go to class every day, even if you don't know what the hell is going on in class. Go to class. The girls in there, they will start noticing you. They'll get comfortable with you, even if they never talked to somebody who looks like you or is from your community before. So you might be a little wary at first. But if you keep showing up, they're going to get comfortable with you because they keep seeing you. Now, now they feel a little bit more familiar. And now you're having challenges with this part. You don't understand this thing. You're not getting this. You're not doing well on the test. Now you can make friends with one of them. They understand it. They will help you out. And, and let me tell you a, a magic trick all of a sudden all of a sudden you're going to start understanding the concepts from class a lot better when that pretty girl is explaining it to you in her apartment on the couch than when the teacher is explaining it to you in the classroom and you're sitting in a lecture hall all of a sudden you just understand things a lot better when that girl is telling it to you than when the teacher said the exact same fucking thing two hours ago i don't know why that is i know somebody could do it somebody should do a research paper on that but i found that that works okay and again i'm speaking from personal experience so go to class Meet the girls. They will help you. There's always a smart girl in the class. Most of the girls usually do the work, all right, because they're not going to the NBA. All right? They're not trying to go to the NFL. They actually need to do good in school. Okay, so they will help you out because they understand it. They are glad to make a friend of a football or a basketball player because you are you're, you're famous, at least locally, on that campus. And that's the hustle right there. So there, you can meet girls and you can get good at class at the exact same time. And you can be eligible so you go play your sport. So boom, you kill three birds with one stone. That's the hustle right there that your parents probably can't say that to you. Your coaches might allude to it, but they might not be able to say it in so many words. I can say it, okay? Nobody, nobody can do anything to me. I can say that. So now I just gave you the game. All you athletes, you need a reason to go to class, I just gave it to you. All right, and that, that one right there is golden right there. I could have, that's a golden, golden game that I just gave you right there. That's number four. So let me recap these four things. Number one, and this is for all athletes out there, you want to you know, maximize your game, especially you high school athletes. Number one, listen to your coaches. They are trying to help you. If you can't understand what they're trying to tell you, tell me what they said to you, and I'll tell you what they're telling you. Number two, go away to school, get out of your neighborhood, get out of your environment, experience new things, meet new people, figure out who you are as a person when you get to go away and be you where nobody else has an expectation of who they think you are as a person. Number three, get around other players who can bust your ass every day because those are the players that are going to force you to step your game up and get better. We got to remember we got the game on the court and we got the game off the court. So on the court or on the field or whatever sports you play, get around players who are so much better than you that they will bust your ass if you don't show up every day. And number four, take your ass to class there's girls in there they're good at the class they will help you out and will gladly be your study partner to spend some time around you you get to get good at class you get to pass the class you get to meet the girl and you get to play your sport because you get to stay eligible and you don't become an ineligible athlete sitting on the sideline talking about what you could have did if you was eligible because let me tell you one thing that you don't want all you young men athletes out there especially you don't want to become 40 years old 50 years old 37 didn't get a chance to play pro didn't get a chance to play in college because you didn't go to class and then you're talking about what you could have did who you could have been the opportunity that you wasted and you're looking at the young guys coming up you're 35 you're looking at the kids that are 16 and you're like damn you know what i remember when i was 16 i thought i had the whole world in my hand and then i did some dumb shit and blew my opportunity i'm telling you right now what not to do so that you don't blow your opportunity and i'm giving you the game of what to do so you can make the most of your opportunity so if i can help you in anything i said here you send me a text message i gave you my number it's down below you can leave a comment in this video as well two books i'm gonna tell you about overseas basketball blueprint any of you ball players want to play professional basketball overseas all you got to do is read this book i laid out the whole blueprint how to do it the link is down below it's called balloverseas.com for anybody who wants to play overseas this is the blueprint to how to do it in this book third day this is for everybody the decision that separates the pros from the amateurs this book is all about how do you show up in those moments when you don't feel like showing up you don't feel like working you don't feel like going to class you don't feel like going to practice you don't feel like working out you don't feel like lifting weights the third day is that day what do you do in that moment how do you show up anyway i'm gonna tell you how to do it in this book I'll give you a whole formula and everything you need to show up when you least feel like showing up both of these books i'll give you for free all you got to do is cover the shipping you go to balloverseas.com for this one thirddaybook.com for this one both of the links are down below in the description.
and my text message number 305-384-6894 listen i'm giving y'all the game this is what i try to do is give y'all as much game as possible and listen i'm not even charging you for this game i'm giving y'all the game and if you want something i charge you for i'll give y'all even more game i got a whole bunch of other things going on so look down below in the description make sure you're subscribed to me make sure you text me so you get my daily motivation text and you can actually text me there you can talk to me and all that there work on your game dre all 